This episode of Film Learn is brought to you by Wondershare Filmora. This video sponsor! Woohoo! Hey guys, welcome to Film Learn, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And we are back with another Wondershare Filmora tutorial. Recently, Filmora updated to version 9.2 and they have some exciting new features, and one of them is split screen. Now, if you didn't know, split screen has been used in movies and TV for decades and decades. It's a fantastic technique for showing a whole bunch of different perspectives in one shot or just adding a little bit of pizzazz to your edit. I actually used split screen to punch up a montage in my road reel short last year called Toilet Trouble. And at a bare minimum, it's a great way to have fun in your edit. And with Filmora 9.2, we can now do split screen very, very easy. So what I thought I'd do is shoot a whole bunch of footage, which I've already done, and then I thought we'd head into Filmora 9.2 and see how split screen works right now. Okay guys, so here we are in Filmora 9. I've imported some footage so we can easily build a split screen. But before we do, I just wanna talk about the split screens in general because they do have some cool features. Firstly, each split screen in this pretty big collection can be used two different ways, with or without animation. Now, what does that mean? Well, in traditional split screen, usually the split itself is static, but Filmora has the option to enable a split screen animation. And what this does is, you guessed it, animate both the in and out of the split screen. Now, this is a cool feature. No need to hand animate these things. It's simply the click of a button. So today I thought I'd demonstrate both in creating a little montage. Firstly, let's find a split screen we like, say this one here. Let's then drop it onto the timeline. Bam. Next, let's double click to open it up and we'll see how it all works. So you can see that we have numbered markers for each part of the split screen over here. We can then head over, select our video. In this case, I'll just use Filmora's example videos just here. These bike ones will do just fine. We can then drag this one into the number one section, bam. And then we'll say drag this one into the number two section and why not this one into the number three section. Now, we already have the base vest split screen edit done in the matter of seconds. Cool, huh? Now we do have the ability to go into each section and adjust how the video sits in the frame and the scale. Once we're happy, let's see how that looks. Okay, so you can see we need to adjust this. Firstly, I'm gonna disable the animation just over here. I'll just uncheck this box. Our clips are only three to 15 seconds long in length, so the animation is too long for them to be viable in this edit. If we hit play now, you can see the split screen works much better. Now, if we wanna adjust, say, the timing of the videos, that's really easy too. We can either double click on the split screen in the timeline and click advanced, or click on the video in the edit window and click the adjust menu icon right here. Both will bring up the split screen edit menu. Now it's in here you can adjust the timing of the clips including this option called fit split screen duration on main timeline. Basically this means that if a video ends before the end of the split screen timeline that Filmora will freeze frame the final frame until the end of the clip. Now say I move them forward. You'll see that now it also freeze frames on the first frame as well resumes the video, and then freeze frames once it reaches the end of the clip. So you can fully adjust the timing of when these clips start and stop. Now, if I turn that off, you'll see that the diagonal lines go away now, and when we play through, those areas just cut to black and only appear when the video is in the timeline. So once again, another option in your split screen edits. So that's the nuts and bolts of split screen editing in Filmora. Now, let's build something cool. As you can see, I've imported my own footage as I wanna show you how simple it is to put together a sweet split screen shot. So just like last time, let's pick a split screen. This time, let's grab, say, this one. We'll leave the animation on and drop in some of our clips. Done. I'm then gonna adjust them into place to look right for my shot. There. Now to top this off, I'm also gonna add some coloring to each video clip layer like so. Nice. I'll then finish that off by adding some VHS distortion from the effects menu. And from the title menu, I'm gonna add a title from the Agent Filmora pack that I just downloaded. Now I'm actually gonna add this on the track underneath. That way, when our split screen animates off screen, 
it'll reveal our title animation. I'll then adjust the title to my own title really quick. Hit OK. Maybe add a little bit of music from film stocks. And let's take a look at that. Wow, that's uh, both uh, super weird, fun, and easy all at the same time. But what, that took, what, five minutes? Pretty sweet, huh, guys? Now, gang, if you'd like to know more, as always, check out the Filmora channel. They actually have a great split-screen tutorial on there as well. But for now, that is another Filmora tutorial. Done. So, out of all those steps and your pile of disorganized shots becomes this harmony of split-screen goodness. So guys, that is the new split-screen function in Filmora 9.2. Now, if you'd like to try one to share Filmora, all you have to do is just click that link in the description and check it out for yourself. Now, we actually have a few more Filmora tutorials coming up, so stay tuned for that. And hey, if you did enjoy this video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it, and it does help out. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film in an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here that are Filmora related, and I've also got my social media crap. If you want to see some behind the scenes stuff, just check that out. I've also got the Patreon there if you want to help support us, or you can support us directly on YouTube by clicking that join button below. But until I see you again, guys, keep splitting and keep learning.